right guys, so today is the day, man. This is gonna be the final drive in big Hellcat Durango. I'm picking up my new Escalade in about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna get my brother first. He wants to come along and then we're gonna go swap him out. Um, if you've been watching the previous videos, I've been talking about how I've had some equity in my car or in my SUV and I'm planning to get out of it so I can make some money. And uh, today's that day. Um, you gotta take advantage of this market, man. It's not gonna stay this long forever. Um, so anything really, anything like special, like Hellcat Durango's Escalades, um, track hawks, anything of that nature, you're making money on if you uh, buy it for the right price. Um, all those cars and all those trucks are going for way over MSRP. So if you find one for the right money, you should get into it, keep it for a couple months and flip it back over. And you're guaranteed to make at least 10,000. Um, so that's what I did. And then once we get to the dealership, I'll show you guys my new truck. And uh, what's crazy is that's not my actual order. I ordered the Escalade about three months ago, but they are so behind, like that chip shortage is messing everything up. So um, I got a call from the dealer yesterday that they had won't fall through and uh, he's gonna give me a good deal on it. So I'm gonna pick that one up. And then when my comes in, the actual one that I ordered, how I wanted the two, um, we're gonna go and swap that one back out. And then we should still be able to make money on the one I'm picking up now. So I'm picking up my brother and then we'll head down to the dealership and I'll show you guys what I got. <laughs> How many times did I call you? So as I was saying, the one that we're picking up right now is not the one that I actually ordered. The one that I ordered should be in in about five or six months, but I thought getting this one now and driving it until the new one comes in will be a good investment and then we can still flip it and uh, make some money uh, when my new one comes in. So we're gonna go get that one. I'll show you guys how that one looks. Everything is nice on it except the chrome. I really hate chrome. And that one being the luxury package, it has chrome everywhere. The wheels, the grill, um, the window surrounds, everything's chromed out. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be a good idea to uh, black it out, like, well, wrap it. Uh, if I'm gonna make my money back on that, then I'll do it. If not, then uh, we'll just throw some tints on there and um, wait for mine to come in because I'm not keeping it for that long. Ain't that right, sir? Indeed. We gotta do some pulls before we give it back. Hold on. I gotta do some pulls. What are you doing, guy? It's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. Zero to sixty in uh, the Durango Hellcat. We're testing the quirks and features. Let's get it show on the road. What are you saying? We make, we make that guy do. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna test all the quirks and features. Show you guys the insides and outsides. Oh, um, <laughs> well, that's how he talks. <laughs> oh, that Doug, the mirror. He has the same. He has the same thing at the beginning. Quirks and features, long way towards it. We got over here the track. There's always a cop that hides there. Yeah, man. We're just recording it. Well, I recorded like a five, five minute, like just driving. So this is gonna be the last launch control. It's the last road. Oh, lost launch. Lost. Lost. You're gonna launch it in front of the dealership? That's all right. All right. Break all the way. We'll set it like a thousand psi. Now let it loose, my boy. Not too shabby. There's a guy. There's a guy that for works with Cadillac right there. He's gonna be like. <laughs> There she is, big dog. You see it? No. It's inside the inside the building. Oh, then. Take a video in there. We'll love that somebody's video right there. Get the lights going. That's it. Man, I hate that chrome so bad though. Why? Well, Allah looks sexy on it. We 
this is it. See what I mean by all the chrome? You see the interior though? The interior is the best part. It has the rear TVs, the headphones. I think mine had the headphones too. This is the ESV, so it's extended base. It has a lot more room in it. That's what I like about it. You're gonna have to get a new plate. Yeah, I know, man. That's not gonna make sense on there. No. <laughs> The cool. I'm sure you could get the same thing just as ESC. Or no, I'm going to keep that play from my other car, but I'll okay. get something else with it. This is the best part. Look at that. Well, this one doesn't have the night vision package, but if you do, um, you can see like people walking around and stuff at night. Like I'll light them up like real night vision. This you can turn on and off. It has a panoramic. I think that's standard on the Escalades. 31 miles, now we're gonna pull it out and switch everything over. I already did most of the paperwork yesterday, so I was gonna get my check for the difference on that one, and we're good. Straight zipping, my baby. Butter. Isn't Terry nice? What's up, why does that have, why does that have paddles? What are you gonna say, now you're gonna get it? We'll do lost control. Yeah, we'll pull it out and then we'll do that. You gotta get the Drake on. Um, so when you touch it, it just goes around the whole vehicle. So you got the, the overhead view, you got the front bumper view, you got the rear. So when you're going, you'll see what's in front of you, yeah. behind you, we'll see what's on the side of you. So you got the whole entire camera package. Um, that's on that there. You can go through the car self parks, parallel and perpendicular. It has Alexa. This is your self parking, so you can parallel or perpendicular park. Okay. Okay, I have it set up as far as the display right now. I have the lighting set up on rotating. So tonight you're gonna see, um, well you can't see now because it's not dark out. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see a whole, di every few seconds, a whole different light's gonna turn on in here. A okay. whole ambient. You can go through. Is it right you, here? Uh, I don't know if it'll come on because it's not dark in here. Okay. Let me see if I shut this privacy shade and get the work. But you can you see all these colors? It's gonna go through and show you all these colors. And when you get to a color you like, you can just touch it. So right now it's gonna just spin around till you get to the color you like. See how the it, the lights come through it? I don't know if it's coming I in. I like that better where it keeps switching out. Yeah, it'll keep switching constantly. Um, on your music, you're gonna fool around till you find what you like. When you find a station you like, just by swooping this like so, just touch the star. And save it and that goes to save. This keeps you in your lane. This is yeah. auto hold. I don't like that because it feels like it's dragging down the road. Take you that shut off. it off, yeah. Yep, if you go on, the camera's watching the road, so when you're drifting, oh, it's, okay. So, do you know what auto hold does? No. All right, put your seatbelt on for a second. Okay, put your foot on the brake. It is. Put it in drive. Take your foot off the brake. See that green button? Every time, as long as your seatbelt's on, it's this says auto hold. Uh -huh. Every time you come to a light, a long train, you never have to hold the brake. After you stop, just let your foot rest. The minute traffic goes, the minute you touch the gas, it accelerates. Oh, that's sweet. So it never, you never have to keep holding that. But again, you can do everything through here. Yeah. You can do everything here. You can rotate. You can swoop over. You can do anything you want. This is your joystick and your volume. Yeah. Or I can go to navigation, car info. My home settings. I gave you one minute on your home settings, so you got a minute of light when you get out. You can go through here, these displays, and you can change anything you want here. It's your car, you're gonna play with it. Your instrument cluster, you can say, what gauges do I want? Speed info, this is where I told you I set up where okay. it changes colors, speed signs, digital. See how it goes up to there, and then yep. it'll start changing colors. But again, all this is stuff that, it's your car, you're gonna play with it. You're gonna. All the gauges now are out here for the heat and air, but you're gonna fool around till you get this custom the right. way you like it. The, the HUD, HUD is for the Heads camera. Up display. Yeah. So when you touch HUD, if it's not in your view, touch the word HUD again. Now, see where it says height? You can raise and lower that height. It's actually so perfect that the way it's it is. A, that it's comfortable in your yeah. view. That's good. Um, yeah, I tried to set the steering wheel up in the seat based yeah, on- I'll play around with it. Yeah, on that. 
uh, at, lights are gonna come on automatically at night like your car. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. That's all automatic. This is your wireless phone charger. Your phone always faces you when you put it in there. So it faces you so that you can see. So it's charging and you can see my phone's charging sitting there. Oh, that's cool. So it has to be facing down? Well, no, it just has to be facing back. Oh, so it don't matter. The battery is okay. here, the charger is here that does okay, your battery. Okay, I gotcha. So as long as your phone faces you, you can be up or down. Okay. It's gonna automatically charge your phone up. Okay. Um, this is where it turns off motion sensors. So when would you use this? Let's say he stays in the car and you say I'm running to the store and you hit lock cars running. Uh -huh. You have to turn off the motion sensor because the minute he blinks his eyes the horn the lights oh, no. and the, the, the siren go off because it sensed somebody moved in the car so all this is motion sensor stuff so windows down somebody puts their finger right here mm -hmm. it triggers the whole entire car off because it thinks somebody's breaking into your car oh, okay. so if you're staying if he's staying or the dog or a friend turn off the motion sensor it's always on turn it off when you leave the car if they're gonna stay in the car. When it's off? No, when the car's on. When the car's on. But it always defaults to on. The system's okay. always on. Just like the traction, the, the all-wheel drive over there. Everything, you can turn that on, but security things turn on automatically. Okay. This is if you wanna put the second row seats down. This if you wanna tilt your sunroof, open your sunroof, map lights. Um, this is if you don't want no interior lights, so you sit in the car chilling out. You, you don't want your interior lights coming on when you open okay. the door. Otherwise, they come on when you open the door. Right. Um, but like I said, you see right here, you can see that light. See how it keeps changing? Can you see it on this side? Oh, like oh that one that. off again. See, look, right now, it's red on that side, right where my fingers point. It's going to keep changing colors. It's going to go through the gamut, through the whole car. Oh, you got to hit this. Oh. That plate doesn't even look right on that. <laughs> He's gonna flip it around so you can take the last pick. He said he said he'd go get a bag Aaron, for the whole train. It's still there's still Good, it's doing it in there. Hey, what, what is that key? What's that key just doing there? I don't know. Oh, that's uh the mailbox in my throat. Oh watch this, look, look. This is supposed to work. It's a fail. On the move. There's a light somewhere. <laughs> they don't work, it's advertised. What would you choose, guys? That one. That's good? Why? Right. That's it, man. It's all cleaned up. I didn't even take these off because I still want people like new, I guess. Even the floor wrap is still on there. But. Right. She'll be missed, man. On to the next one. I'm going to keep that tag right there. I don't think they need that. I was supposed to throw that away, but I kept it because I thought it looked cool. This thing over here. The remote was in there. The headphones are in the trunk. Take with you. you sure? Yeah, put it in. It's brand new. It just came out of the box. All right. The up. All right, put man. it in your driveway. Or at work, let all your employees see the gift you <laughs> gave yourself. Yeah. I'll put it in the trunk. All right, so I, I will. Hey, you also are going to get, you should get on your phone, you got my rewards. It's $100 instantly from Cadillac okay. that you can use. Yeah. Let's go. Why are you driving? Okay. There she is. She's gone. So I guess I'm going to get my check when I bring the other key. I forgot the other key at the house. Oh, is it needed? It? The key? Yeah. Yeah, they need both keys. Careful, watch the curb. Bro, I used to drive FedEx and get swept up. I'm actually just launches it right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, man. Hide him with the seat. Okay, turn the belly off. No cop right up. Man, this thing literally feels like you're driving a boat. Like you don't feel a single bump. It just floats. I'll do a whole nother video about the first drive and all, but man, this thing's beautiful. Now I'm gonna try the outer hole. See right there? I got my seal on, so when I stop at this light, I can take my foot off the brake and it should stay in place. So it lights up green, like that. And then I'm gonna let go of the brake. 
Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> that's cool. And then when you hit the guys, it moves again. Well, I'm pulling up the parking lot real quick, show you guys the outside, show you quick interior, and then I'll wrap up this video. All right, guys, let's give you a quick walk around real quick. And like I said before, we'll do a like first drive and all that in the next video. But um, so this is the luxury package. So you got the chrome, like everything, which I hate. But um, once mine comes in, that's really the one that I want. Mine's an ESV Sport. So all the chrome was blacked out. We got the um, Onyx package. So we got the blacked out wheels, uh, blacked out mirrors, I think. Um, and I know it has a blacked out Cadillac badges. So this one is different as well. That plate don't look right, but we got to stick to it for now. But that's it. This is the ESV one. So it's a long base. You got a lot more storage in the trunk. I like how this trunk opens. Let's sit it like that. A lot of space. Now these seats, you can fall down too. Uh, right over here, I believe. And you can bring it back up. It's a really nice, uh, like going on trips and stuff. Have a lot of space for the fam. And this one does have the rear entertainment system. Now this, if you go and try to order one now, you can't even get these anymore because they're on restriction because I guess nobody can get them. But that's a, uh, I don't know who that is. But yeah, they're on restriction. Um, these are the, it's called the Brandy Interior. So it has this really nice like, base uh, basketball seat. So it literally looks like that. I gotta get the um, all weather tech liners um, because winter's coming up and I don't wanna get these all messed up with salt and stuff. And then if you buy an Amazon Fire Stick, I was watching videos on it yesterday. If you get a Fire Stick and you plug it into here, and then um, you could set it up somewhere through here, over oh, right here. You hit this button over here and then um, you could connect it and then you could use this for like YouTube. I even, I've even seen a guy, he connected his Xbox here because you have a plug right in there. So you can plug in your Xbox, put the HDMI, and then literally play on these two screens if you're going on like a road trip or something. So uh, this is a lot bigger than the Durango. Look how much leg room I have in here. In the Durango, there's no way you can sell like this. And I got the front seat all the way adjusted so I can be comfortable in the front and then I can have someone back here uh, doing the thing on the TVs. So even the third row seat, look how much room you got. They, they did a really good job on this truck. And then people are asking, why didn't I get the Grand Wagoneer? We'll probably do like a comparison um, in the next couple videos if I find one. The Grand Wagoneer, man, they, I think that was a fail of a truck. I, I don't like that thing whatsoever. Especially the outside. It looks like a supersized Grand Cherokee L. Like they didn't, they didn't really change much on it, which is, uh, I think it was a fail, man. Uh, these things are the hottest trucks in the nation. It's the hardest truck to get right now. And if you find one under or a sticker, you're lucky. So this is how the front looks. Uh, everything's chromed out. I don't know if I'm going to black it out or just tint the windows for now until mine comes in. This one is a crystal white. So this is an additional option. I think it's like 1200 bucks to get it. I didn't build this. Someone uh, built it. It came in and they didn't get approved for the loan. So um, the manager at the dealership called me and he said, if you want this one, you can pick it up and then um, until yours comes in, it comes switch it out. So my initial plan was honestly, I was going to keep both, both the Durango and the Escalade, but banks don't like to see you have that much open on accounts like loans. So they made me get rid of the Durango and uh, get the loan on this one. Uh, Cause I knew the Durango, if I held on to it, I probably could have made uh, a lot more money than what they gave me. Yeah, I mean, I, I made some change, but um, I could have made a lot more since they're not in production anymore and you can't get them. But it is what it is. I'm happy with what I got. Um, and honestly, with this one too, if you watched the last video and I was talking about the whole credit situation, I walked off. This is 100. Where's the paperwork? This truck over here, I'm going to show you. That way, you guys, I'm trying to motivate y'all to do the same thing. Let me block some information off. This truck was almost $108,000. I didn't put a penny. I'm literally talking the truth. I'm not, I didn't put a penny down and uh, drove this thing off a lot. So when you, when you build your credit like this, you can start doing these type of things and literally work with their money. You're not, I didn't put a penny off my pocket, right? So when I go to trade this in five, four, six months from now, and whatever equity I built into it, it's gonna be for me. They can write me a check, just how they did with the Durango, and I'm gonna pocket that money and then move on to the next one. Um, I mean, these cars are all metal, man. Some of them you can replace, some of them you can't, but if you're making money now, especially with the market and how it's going, you should definitely take advantage of it and uh, do what I'm doing. 
So, I mean, I went through, uh, what was it, four cars this year. I had the TRX, I had the Trackhawk, Durango, and I have the Escalade. And um, we're moving on to 2022. So I plan on doing this. I mean, these are my daily drivers. You guys have to understand that. It's not like where the Halifant, where, yeah, someone offers me like 150000 or something, and I take that. And the Halifant, there's no way on earth you're going to get another one. And that, like, that car is more like a sentimental because I, I built that thing, so it's going to be harder to move. But these, I'm literally driving for free. I'm, I'm getting them for free. And then I'm getting paid to drive them, which is insane. Um, years, for, you know, years ago you couldn't do that. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I really like this thing. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, we'll do uh, a side by side comparison with the Grand Wagoneer, maybe sometime in the next few weeks. I know I have uh, a couple that I could get a hold of, and uh, we'll go from there. Happy New Year, see you guys all. Wish you all a year of blessings and success, and I'll see you back in the next one.